Hi guys, it's Meg. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. So today what I have for you is a Ulta haul. Um, I feel like I didn't get a lot, but it was kind of pricey. So just a couple things I repurchased and I wanted to share with you guys. So let's jump right into it. So it is October and Ulta does the breast cancer awareness thing. So definitely keep that in mind. Check it out. I think they so let's jump right into it. I'm just going to put the bag down and show you guys what I picked up. The first thing I have in there is a St. Tropez tanning towelette. I love these so much. Um, a couple of you guys have noticed, like, my tan, I feel like, has been a little bit off. It's because I was using a different tanning product that I had purchased off Amazon. Um, I had heard it was decent, and I got it, and I just feel like the color isn't that great with my skin tone. So, for the past probably month and a half, that's what I've been using. I don't have any tanner on now at all. This is my normal skin tone. Um, but I've been outside, so I feel like I'm going to start needing that extra tan going into the winter time. I just like the look of a fake bake. So I am going back to my St. Tropez. I can't believe I ever strayed from it. It's not that I didn't like it. I just thought I would try something else. So along with that, I picked up uh, my St. Tropez tanning mousse. I got the jumbo one. I know I'm going to use it up. I absolutely love this. It's a 100% natural tanning agent. Bronzing mousse, self tanner. This is the regular. I also had the express tan. I didn't notice a huge difference. I'm going back to my beloved Saint Tropez with the mitt, and hopefully I won't look like an Oompa Loompa anymore. But we will see. So I love this stuff. This I want to say was forty two dollars for the jumbo bottle. So it's a little bit pricey, but it's definitely worth it. Okay, so the next thing I picked up were a couple more lashes. You guys know I've been like picking up lashes, I feel like, in every um, like haul that I've done for beauty stuff. These are the Eyelore number 143s. These also look like kind of doubled wispies. They're really pretty. Let's see if you can get a good... Okay, so those are the number 143s. I really like them. You guys can see they're full and flirty looking. Um, I find that the eye lures are very long, and I don't ever have to trim the Ardell Wispies, which is what I have on today. So these are, to me, a little bit longer, which is not a big deal. You just have to take a little pair of scissors and just trim them up, but be sure to measure them on your eye um, so that they're comfortable for you when you wear them. Just keep that in mind if you do buy those. Um, and then I also picked up... What? Are you kidding? You guys, I missed out on a coupon. How did I miss that? What a joke. Okay, so there was a save $2 thing, and I didn't peel it up, so I didn't save $2. I don't know if Ulta does that, I guess, because that's where I bought them. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, I bought the number 35s. And they just look like that. These, I feel like, are a smidge more natural than the other ones. These will be great for every day. Um, I really love these, and I've been using the Clear um, Duo Lash Glue. So I used to do, I still have the black lash glue, and I love it. But lately, I just haven't been wearing any gel eyeliner, so I feel like I don't need the black um, glue if I'm not wearing any eyeliner. I feel like on a daily basis, it's a, obviously less dramatic. I just kind of like the look of it better. So that's what I've been doing a lot lately, is just putting on a pair of like natural lashes like this with clear lash gel, doing my eyebrows, and then putting on like a BB cream and some powder. And I feel like I'm way put together, but still not completely over the top. So I like these for like an everyday lash look. Okay, so also from Ilora, I picked up one of their eye pencils, like for your eyebrow. I just am such a sucker for their packaging, and I don't know why, if it's because it says it's like from London or what. I just think their packaging and the font that they use is so cute. So I wanted to try this. I normally use the Anastasia Dip Brow, or I have the Benefit Browsing, which I've used for years, and I really like that if I want a powder. But I have never really found a great eyebrow pencil that I am in love with, and sometimes I like the look of a pencil, or if I'm in a hurry, or I could keep this in my purse. So that was my thought in purchasing this, plus it was on sale. I think I paid like $4 for it or something like that. And I just went with the shade number 30 Blonde, 
So that's what it looks like. And it's not that I feel like I have blonde hair. I mean, the ends of my hair are light, but my roots are dark brown. But this is going to fade out. It already has like gotten darker, which I actually really like the color right now. When I first did my hair, it was really, really blonde and a little bit harsh actually where it stopped just because I had completely gotten sidetracked and wasn't paying attention <laughs> to what I was doing. So it was extremely blonde on the ends and I haven't toned it or anything. I need to try a toner, but I do really like how it's faded out and I feel like it looks much more natural now. And my hair grows relatively fast, so I had cut it. It was about up to here. It's already grown a little bit. I like the color that it is right now. But anyway, so I, I went with the blonde just because I feel like a pencil's a little bit harsher. It looks like. It's just like a topish brown. And I thought that this would be a good match for my eyebrows. Okay, so the next two things I'm really excited about trying. I've been seeing these all over the place, and I just wanted to try one. So they are the... Um, what do you want to call these things? Like the face masks that are on the sheet. I don't know. What are these things called? I guess just a sheet face mask. I'm not really sure. So I picked out two different ones. They're actually by the same company, Leaders in Solution. So I guess that's the brand. This one was less expensive. I think this was $4. And it looks just like that. I chose the Radiance Revitalizing Mask. I feel like... I'm just now starting to like get annoyed at my skin and want to make a difference in it. So I'm religiously using my skincare products. I told you guys all the products that I have in my skincare routine video, which I'll link down below if you're interested. But I was just being super lazy about it. Like honestly, there's no other excuse. Like I just was being lazy with my face and I didn't feel like doing all the steps. But once I do the toner, use a scrub, use a mask once a week, I feel like my skin just looks a lot better. Like I feel like it's cleared up already. Um, and I'm not even using my Clarisonic yet. My mom's going to bring that down for me when she comes to visit. But my skin was just going through like a super crazy breakout period. And I feel like it's not perfect. It never is. But I feel like it's gotten a lot better that I've been taking better care of it, using my nighttime moisturizer, using a toner, and actually exfoliating in the shower. So I think it was just like a buildup of dead skin cells. Honestly, I know that's gross, but I was outside all summer, so my skin was probably peeling and probably just exposed to too much sunlight. So anyway, I'm just kind of on a skincare kick now. I'm trying to do a mask at least once a week if I remember. I did the charcoal clay mask um, two nights ago. So I'm probably going to try this either tonight or tomorrow night. And this is, like I said, the Re the Radiance Revitalizing Mask. And I don't know. I think it's going to be good. If you guys have used these, definitely let me know. I love the fact that it's like a cloth that you can just put on and then take off. And it's not so annoying to kind of have to scrub your face off with the mask. And it just says it's one sheet, 15 minutes for a fresh, healthy glow every day. It says they're easy to use sheet masks that are packed full with a bottle of skin loving serum to give an instant boost and long lasting results. So I'm excited for that. This was only four bucks. So this mask I'm excited to try. It is the Coconut Bio Mask or something like that. It has Himalayan Camellia Pore Minimizing Mask. I don't know, these names are so long, but it's supposed to minimize pores, even out skin tone, and just kind of give it a more smooth and radiant appearance so it says it's the seven wonders from the seven most exotic regions of the world leaders brings you seven formulations with unique ingredients to effectively restore and revitalize your skin and then on the back i do like that it gives you like a little mini tutorial on how to actually use the product so you guys can see that you just peel it out put it on your face leave it on for 20 to 25 minutes and then discard the mask and lightly pat your face to help absorb the serum into the skin. So it seems super easy. I'm really excited to try these. If you guys have tried either of these or any other sheet masks that you recommend that are like a decent price point, I feel like under $10. Um, definitely let me know in the comments below. I'd love to try them. And I will try and let you guys know what I think of these when I use them. So I think that was everything. Yeah, that was everything I picked up. Super kind of small haul, but it was a little bit pricey because of the tanning lotion, but that's okay because I needed it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!